Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to do a quick art journal page today. This is using Art by Marlene. And this is a Tim Holtz stamp. And this is another Art by Marlene piece. Using some Dilusions paints. I'll show you the pack that I'm using. It's the Confidence Bit of a Quirk die cut block, which is by Studio Light, Art by Marlene. There's the block number, and there's the face that I'm using. And I think the butterfly might have come from a different stack. I just had it sitting around randomly because I didn't use it on the last page. Here is the Tim Holtz collection stamped by Stampers Anonymous. It's called Stuff to Say. And it has all these stamped quotes and this is the one we're using today. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. And I have a stencil from Diane Reevely. And I might use this. I'm not sure about that. That was from Am that stamp set was from Amazon. And then if I use any of these stencils, I'll show you which one it is. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. So let's just get started. On building our background, I have some sponge daubers. You can use makeup sponges. You can use whatever you want. Let me pull this off here. And it's just stamped on very thin tissue paper. See, because you can actually see through it. And this is just a clean off page. When I was stamping those quotes onto tissue paper, I used this underneath. So now, and to clean off the stamp, so now I have a background that already has um, some texture to it. Plus there's like some texture paste that I wiped off on here. So let's have some fun. All right, I'm gonna use some pink and yellow. This is bubblegum pink, lemon zest, and yes, this one's pretty good, but this one is all spongy, which is fine. And I might throw in a little bit of squeezed orange. So, let's get started here. If you're snoring in the back, that's big baby. She's sleeping right now. Okay, they're a little funky. They still work great. I've got no, no problems with it at all. So I'll just pick some up out of the lid, move it around on the palette here, and I, I want to try something here. I just want to see what happens. I want to add just a little bit of water to help move things around a little bit better. Because a lot of the pink and the yellow are going to turn orange, which is fine. My art journal is nothing but fun, so I don't worry much about it. Okay, let me open. See? That's my yellow. What I do is I just squirt it with some water, let it seep in. so that it keeps it hydrated and I just pick it up and I'll work it in and I'll even pick up some of the old dry over here and work that in and I'll just do this 
and it creates an orange. <laughs> She's just snoring away. That's good though. It means she's nice and happy and content. All right. What I'm going to do is just hit this with a little bit of water, make it nice and wet again, and I'll just come around. Okay, I'll tell, pick it up with my fingers. And blend it better, my edges. Why not? It's all fun. That's pretty neat. Let me put that down. <laughs> I like it different. I mean, I don't want it to be perfect or whatever. I like everything to just be what it's going to be when it turns out when it's done. So, I might break up some of that pink there. No, I don't know what I'm doing every second of my art journal page. I don't. It's just on whim. It's just to have some fun. All right. Let me dry this. And I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I can still see my stamping underneath. But I think I want to knock this back some. So, do I want to use a brayer? Let's try it. All we're going to do is try and have some fun. I mean... You never know. So I'm just going to put some white paint down on a very lovingly used jelly plate. And I'm just going to roll this on here. And if I don't like the way that looks, because I don't have enough on there. I'll pick this up, flip it over, and just mash it down. Let's see what happens. Because I still have some stuff on there. Yeah, that's all right. Might add some more. Crossed. And if I want to smooth that a little bit better, I'll just take a blending sponge and hit it a little bit. And if there's more on here, I'll take this, just press it down. Why not? It's all about having fun, being creative. And I'll just smooth it a little bit. I like that. Oh, let me fix the... Alright. Um, I'm going to move this aside. I still want to soften it up just a little bit more. So I'll add a little bit of white over here. I'll pick it up. I'll just come in and just soften up my color. A little bit more. I like that because it actually picked up. This is the modeling paste that I wiped off onto here. So let's see what we want to do here. 
think I'll take this and use the yellow. See if I still have some yellow in here. Yeah. But I don't think I have enough. Yeah, there's not enough. Um, and I need to actually put a new one on. Alright, I'm just going to leave the old one on. And I'm just going to pick up some of the lemon zest. Come over here, work it in. It still works. And I'm just going to come in with the Diane Reevely, or not Diane Reevely, the Dilusions, which is Diane Reevely's. And just add this really cool stencil all over the place. And I'm just doing it haphazardly. And lift it up. It doesn't show very much, but it's there. And I kind of like it. Gives it a nice whole new dimension in the color. And let's see. Let's try one of the stencils. I think we'll go with the. I want to use that, the dragonfly. And I'll do it. What color do I want to do it in? No. I'll use one of these with the black. I'm going to put some black on there. And I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape. But that's going to stick. Because some of these these pieces are very, very delicate. They bend so easy. And all that's holding that there is this little piece right here. And I don't want it to break off. So what I'll do is I'll just lay it down where I want it. And Grab some black paint. It's just craft smart. And just put a little bit down. This stuff is so thick. I have an old sponge dauber from Dollar Tree. I might actually Give that a tiny, tiny squirt of water just to make it a little more fluid. And I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to lightly pounce that in. It might show up good, it might not. I mean, who knows? I'm not one to sit there and just be so overwhelmed. That looks good. And I'll turn this over and come over here. If it doesn't turn out absolutely perfect. It's just to have fun. Just to give myself a chance to create. That looks good too. Do I have any coming to the back? Nope. And so my girl's going to go here. My quote's going to go there. And I think I'll go right here. Just with whatever I've got left. If it shows through, it shows through. If it doesn't, and it's barely there, that's fine too. Yep. That looks good. 
Now, hmm. I just dunk it in some water. I just want to add just a couple of the lines. And this stencil that I just used is this one. And it's called Mini Specimens. Alright. Let's see what we got on here. Why not? We can just keep going. We can do whatever we want. This one is another Rebecca Meyer. And it is mini screen print. These are really good quality. I do like them a lot. And I'll just add some. To these that's a little too much water I'll just put a little dollop on there doing it very lightly well it got too wet but that's all right that still looks good I like that and I'm just gonna wipe off the back on my towel that way it doesn't do it again and we'll go this way with this one where do I have you connecting right up here I like that. That looks good. And just because I can, I might add a little bit down here. There, that works. Let me just wet this off real quick with a paper towel. Just to get the majority of it off. And I'll just put that right there. Now I want to do something else with the white, but I will probably do white splashes. But I'm, I really do like this. This looks good. So I'm going to dry this. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to put my white splashes down first before I put... Um, Yeah, my other stuff down before I glue everything down. That way I don't have to worry about covering it up and not getting it full of white splashes. But white splashes are going to go everywhere on my desk, so I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm just going to take my towel and put it down because it just seems to want to go everywhere with me. Maybe I need just a little bit more water. I actually like flicking it better. Gives me a more graffiti look. And I like that. It looks good. So I'll rinse that out. Lay that down. Get my paper towel. And just wipe this up real quick. That way I don't put my hand down in it or something. I've done it. Move that out of the way. Alright. Alright. Let's look at what we've got here. 
I usually keep my stuff in just an old tray. This was probably some kind of, I don't know, box for something. Well, let's see, she was predominantly greens and some blues. So I went with these colors. And I'm, I love the way it looks because there's enough contrast um, for it to stick out nice. So what I'm going to do is I will put this down. And let's see, what glue do I have on my desk that I will use? I have this Barely Art Precision Glue. Let me put her down first so that I know where I'm going to put my saying. And I'll just, I probably didn't get this. See, if you don't get the needle in there right away, it will clog up. And I, it's, it's sad because this is great glue. There we go. Starting to come out now. Because it can get these little tiny pieces for me. And it holds very well. And it dries pretty quick, so. All right, let's just take her, find our corner, and just mash her down on the paper. All right, let me clean that off and put this back in. I think I need to clean off my um, needle more often before I put it back in because it feels like it had a buildup of glue on it. All right, I'm just going to put that back in. Now, I'm going to put that right there and I'll use some Liquitex matte medium. You can make watered down glue. You can use whatever you want. I have this old, old paintbrush. Love this paintbrush. I really do. I will use it. I'll just, nope. Pop the lid on this. There we go. See you get glue that dries around the top of it. Let me move this out of the way. I'll just put some down. Put it on there. It's probably more than I needed, but it's all good. And I'll just lay that. Right there. That's where it's going to go. And did I put enough glue over on this side? There we go. And usually you go from the inside out so that you don't tear tissue paper. Just got to be easy with it, and it'll play nice. I probably should have went over more, but it is what it is. Why not? And I'll just use what's the rest on here to put the butterfly down. And if I want to, I mean, once I dry this, here, let me dry it. Okay. Let's see. Let me go in the big bucket of markers and just find a marker. My Sharpies. That'll work. And I'll just go in and sharpen my words up a little bit so that they look darker since I went over some of the black background. I 
I could even come in with white after I do that to highlight it. See what I mean? Let me make sure you can see what I'm talking about there. Because it seems like there are little ingrained lines in it. So I'll just fill that in. Why not? And I'm only going to hit the bigger parts of the letter. I'm not going to hit the smaller parts because I don't want to take a chance of messing it up. And I can do the other ones with a smaller pen. Let's see. Where are they? I normally have them, these. I got these from Walmart. And I can come in and make those darker if I want. Just so that they stand out. You know what I mean? But because I had put it over that, I went ahead and made my words darker. And you could come in with a white pen. And is that dry yet? Highlight it if you want. It's just like that. You can keep going. You can do anything you want. I just try to give you a jumping off point. Just remember though, every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Just put yourself out there. Do it. Whether you fail, whether you succeed, it doesn't matter as long as you tried. That's all that matters. I think the next series I want to try is, I found these at Dollar Tree. These tiny little notebooks. Three by four inch. And there's a, a bunch of tiny little pieces in the Art by Marlene books. But what I would do is I would probably glue two pages together. And that will be start of a tiny art journal. Let me know if you'd be interested in it. Um, leave me a comment saying whether you'd like to see a tiny little series started or something like that but i'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers i really appreciate you very much i hope everybody has an amazingly wonderful day like and subscribe leave me a comment if you like leave a comment on this if you want to see that thanks for watching have a great day